So we just completed your roundabouts turning right. Yes. You use the right lane. You use the right lane on the approach, on the roundabout, you reach a second exit, and then you started to mirror signal and go into the middle lane or to left lane to mm -hmm. exit the roundabout. Very good. That's exactly what you want to be doing. Okay. What happened, which is quite common, when you were looking left, I was your car went right. Yeah. Oh, okay. And because we're looking left, we don't see in front of us because we're watching the traffic yeah. on the and then we wouldn't notice that we've actually just gone into the left but then back out into the right and if someone's behind you and you've got left signal on and you're going into left and coming back into the right it's going to mislead them yeah it might be a bit dangerous okay so what i'm going to do is try to show you a strategy which will avoid that happening and how and why and give you lots of information on this okay? okay so that's why i'm doing the demonstration because that way i'll be able to talk to you you'll be able to watch take the information in and then hopefully remember it better than what i normally do to you. <laughs> <laughs> max what are you doing now i'm on a dual carriage way round about <laughs> shut up <laughs> leave me alone <laughs> all right okay so i'm doing what max would normally do enjoy Shall I cover the break in case you make a mistake <laughs> Take it off and feed it to you, you cheeky monkey. Right, okay, so I'm looking around. As you can see, someone actually just came out the driveway here, so it is relevant to look. So I'm looking all the way around the vehicle. Scott, she looked very happy looking at you, mate. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so I'm looking all the way around again because someone distracted me. And then making sure it's clear by double checking the right side, the most dangerous side you want to check last. And you can double check just before you move off. Very good habit to have. Mirror, mirror, signal left, because I'll be turning left at the end of the road. I'm going to be nice because no one's behind me. Someone's just come now, but no one's behind me when I stopped. Just to let the lady cross the road. I'm leaning forwards. This is going to help me to see the road on my right hand side. And that way, I'll know if it's safe to drive out. Um, I'm assessing by what Max has previously told us, uh, would I walk out? So when I'm standing or waiting at the end of the road, you know, I'm asking myself, would I walk out? Yeah, I would. Good, time to go. Okay, now what's happening here, Max? There's schools just come out, there's mm -hmm. cars, pedestrians. Oh, can I go? Uh, yes, you can. Good. Why are you saying that? Because usually school times, it's controlled by a lollipop lady or man with the big stop well sign. Well done. Yes. So if they come out, put that stop sign in front of us, yep, pretty self-explanatory, we stop. Yes. I'm waiting for the traffic on the right, which isn't the very first road yeah. on the right, but it's still the right side of yeah. the roundabout. They've all got straight wheels, and they've got a little bit of speed. Yeah, that tells true. me that they're more likely to be going straight giving me an opportunity to emerge or to drive out. And now I'm looking at reflections all the way up the parked cars. This is gonna help me to catch any reflections of an oncoming vehicle, which I may not see through the parked cars, but I might see on the side on the reflection of parked yeah. cars. You use any reflective surface, shop window, um, you get the point. Yes. Right, so uh, I'm going to keep to the train. That means I'm going to stick to the back of this queue of cars because if I leave a big gap, then uncommon traffic. They, and then we're all going to get jammed and stuck. Now, I do feel sorry for that van. I'm thinking how I can help it. Hey, but there is it's a, a white van. No sympathy for white vans in this car. Stereotypes don't actually <laughs> ring true, but. Maybe that one does. Uh, but yeah, no, I couldn't do anything for that vehicle. So I just had to keep going. Okay, I'm just watching the traffic here uh, by right, left, right, which is my minimum observations. This van's turning. I'm going to actually start to move as that vehicle in front of me was moving past me. So that means that I've already got momentum. So as that vehicle's passed, I'm already following behind that vehicle, leaving less opportunity for another vehicle, which was behind the van that was turning left, to catch up with me and me to slow or stop that vehicle, which would be a serious fault. So if you get a habit, this is the more advanced levels, you can actually gain momentum as you're exiting a road as the vehicle on that road is passing because then you can flow into that gap behind it which is really helpful and just keeps the progress going something the examiners may want to see because they don't want you to stop a lot they want you to try and 
keep going. I put the brakes on waiting for that person to cross and then this is what Max did on his attempt at his dual carriageway roundabout. So Max had uh, used this lane, remember? Yes. Your right lane? Uh, we want to signal roughly how many car lengths before the Five. junction? Good. You can hear different uh, variations, 6, 10, 8. It's not a big difference, but I just find if you always signal five car lengths, you can't go wrong. So if you always did that, you would always be correct. And that's the way I like to teach. I like to give you yes and no answers as possible. Okay, I'm using the right lane. This is controlled by traffic light. It's got the green light. I'm going to go straight to the right lane. So I'm just okay. keeping the right lane. Max was counting his exits. So as we go past the first one, a good tip is always check your interior and exterior mirror left as you pass every exit. We're taking exit three, we've just passed one. You can do this, Max, so you can mirror mirror signal at exit one, which is what you okay. were trying to do. Yeah. And, and what I'm doing is I'm just moving in even yeah. before I've reached the second exit. Okay. Because there's so many lanes here. So, I'm trying to so move. you can still do like you do use those maneuvers just to if you feel it's better or beneficial for yourself, then you would do it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And I just checked over my shoulder just for a triple check to see no one's on the side, and that's it. I've completed the roundabout. I moved over to left. I'm going to use this bus lane because it's not in void. Um, if I couldn't move over to the left lane, what lane would I stick to on the, on the right hand lane? There you go. Okay, so that completes a demonstration of the dual carriageway roundabout.